Oh, hello there. Didn't realize the recording had started. Welcome, Cos- Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Apocalypse of Furrows. Today I'm going to fight five bosses, and also open up my notebook and turn to a page that's all about Apocalypse of Furrows. Is this it? This is it. <clears throat> when I'm at work, I talk about work a lot. It's a thing. Anyway, when I'm at work, I part of what I do requires me to, you know, ask people for their name. And sometimes when I ask someone for their name, what I get as an answer is just bizarre. Like, I'll be like, can I get your name? And they'll say something like, oh, yeah, I'm Paul, Harry, Paul, Harry, Paul, Harry, Paul. And, well, no, they won't even say I'm Paul, Harry, Paul, Harry, Paul. They'll just, I'll ask for the name and I'll just get that. And, like, I don't know what to do with this information. It is... Whoa, ow. Is their name really, like, two first names repeated? Because if so, that's just weird. And so I will repeat this back to them, and they're and then they'll be like, Oh no, my name's Matthew. Th then why did... Why? Why would you... I don't understand people. What, what, what am I communicating to them? Oh, really? When I ask for their name. I'm like, can I get your name? And then they're like, Paul, Harry. And some people just go, yes, and then walk away. But I, I need to print out a receipt for them before they can... Oh no, oh no, why would you do this to me? My, my problem is I... N ah! I don't know how I survived that. My problem with this boss is I never know when it's going to do the jump out of... No! Why are you hiding under a thwomp, you jerk? Okay, okay. Okay, do not hide under that thwomp. Woo! So that's what, three bosses? Oh no! Why? Woo! Okay. Okay. Aha! Nope! I'm just gonna hide down here, you jerks. Curses! He stepped on me. I can never predict when the bosses are gonna stop and throw stuff, either. My problems with these bosses are personal issues of me being bad at things. And that was just the fourth of five bosses. I'm gonna have a bad time. And I can't even tanukinate anymore. <clears throat> I've always had trouble communicating with people. And since it's a problem I've always had, I've always assumed that the problem was just me. Nope! Okay, okay. Because, I mean, that's the common factor, right? If it's... If the problem is I always have trouble communicating with people, the common factor is me. So, like, it must be me, right? But sometimes I wonder if it's just that everyone else sucks at communicating. I mean, that seems extremely less likely. Curses! Explosion right in the face. Okay. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ha! Curses! Oh, I'm surprised that that worked. Ha! Ah, gotcha. I'm glad the swamps disappeared. I do not know how I managed to do that without getting hit. Ah! Or that. Curses! Why? Get your face over here, you... No! Jerk. 
Oh no, this is gonna end badly. I can see where this is going. Ha! Alright, that's four. Now number five. Oh no! Oh no! Why would you do this to me? Admittedly, that death was entirely my fault. Well, if you're gonna have me fight five bosses in a row, especially when one of them is that monster, please, give me a power-up in between somewhere. Please. Any. I mean, this boss is just, you know, it's got a silly gimmick and is a cool boss. It's just, you know, it, it's a fairly simple fight with an interesting gimmick to it. This fight is frustrating. And these bombs make it kind of unpredictable. Ah! It blew up in my face as I let it go. Why? Did, did one of those bombs just bounce off a uh, fire flower that I tossed? Okay, okay, so. Come here. And the fact. I, I, I can't reach far with these bombs. So I have to get luck. Nope! Ah! I have to get lucky. Each bomb is on a timer. I mean, this particular boss fight is not set up on. Like, this one is set up much better. I mean, it's a fairly standard fight with whatever that turtle monster's name is. This is also a fairly standard fight with a turtle monster of some description. Woo! And then this is just the mother brain. It's that mouser that gets me. I mean, if you can make it here with, uh, with fire, you're doing good. Because, like, you can burn the Rinkas. Not the shooters, but the Rinkas themselves, sure. I don't know when Mother Brain fights start to become a cliche in Super Mario Bros. X, but man, Mother Brain fights with Rinkas are such a cliche nowadays. And, you know, this is a very standard iteration of the fight. Like, it, it's a much simpler version of the fight than you presented with in the Invasion 2, which was, I think, the first official episode for an edition of Super Mario Bros. X that supported talking to things. Yay, I win. I can now cross this off of my list of things to do. Now, to go to the SS Toad. Gosh, what a hike. You know, I think I might need to stop and take a break. Off to Star Road. And while I'm here, I'm going to... Let's see, I need to go to the second world for the SS Toad. But first, I'm going to stop by this place and grab power-ups. Yeah, I got a power-up. I got a backup power-up. Now, I believe that the SS Toad had four stars and I have collected one. Oh, hold up, I just realized I need to close the thing. Close. There we go. Ooh, okay. Yoshi's Oasis, SS Toad. Oh, here's a cat here to lay on my lap. I like cats laying on my lap. It is nice. So let's see here. Now 
Now I forget where the fairy star door was. Is this it? Attention all on board! We have spotted a shipwrecked toad ship nearby and we are going to quickly see what the problem is. If you are visiting the ship, do not worry. You will be returned to the aisle in a maximum of 10 minutes. Cool, I'll just wait here for 10 minutes. Ah, Mario's moving on his own. Report, areas inside the ship have broken and areas are flooding. We're under attack. Do anything to escape. Okay. I hope this is a vine. It's a vine. Oh, hey, explosives. Take that, walking explosives. Haha. -ha. Okay, I'll just hit this. Oh, Mario stopped again. Come on, Mario. I'm sure that sounds were playing, but I couldn't hear. What the? I'm underwater now. At least give me a surface. Just at least give me a free surface to let me know where the surface of the water is. That terrified me. But at least now I know how I'm going to get here. Again, I, I got I got no clue how. Uh, why is the entrance blocked? Are the people who run this boat mad? Yes, they are angry. I'm scared. Oh hey, this locked door from before is unlocked. Curses! Mario is here. Now he'll hit the switch and deactivate those blocks I sneakily placed. <laughs> Exposition. I feel like there probably would have been a better way to put that. Rats, who knew Mario was here? Whatever, get him boys! Feroz sent us on a special mission, we shall not fail him. Hey Wart. Oh no! See, this, this is what I was going to complain about the other day. It's just so wordy, and I accidentally skipped like two text... four text boxes? Got it, sir. Let me adjust this and oh, oops. What are you waiting for? Activate that cannon! Uh, sir, it appears the ship is broken. What? Sorry, sir, but it can't move when we have no bombs left anymore. We do have some nasty vegetables to fire, though. This will make Mario even more sick than the time he threw a vegetable in your mouth, sir. Vegetables? Are you insane? You idiots! You know what? We don't care what you think anymore. We'll fire vegetables whether you like it or not. That's hilarious. Apologizes for that, Mario. Let's fight now, shall we? And if you could, please don't throw vegetables in my mouth. But I like throwing vegetables in my mouth. I love this. Ow. Alright, that was dumb for me to do. I was hoping that I could, you know, do that cheese trick where you just stand in front of a boss and hold a tossable item. But, but that wouldn't work with vegetables anyway. Hey, the ship is working. Let's get out of here. Okay, I believe there are two more stars in this level somewhere because I only got one on my first visit. Let's see here. Three stars. I'm still missing one. And you know what? I have a concept of where it might be. I remember there was a yellow switch that I never found or hit during all of that chaos with Wirt. So first, let me find and hit the red switch. Right, 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 right. Because of the way this works, I have to, uh... go through here. Curses! I accidentally struck the switch before I meant to. And now I need to just run to hit this red switch. Okay, so there's one missing star. When and or where is it? Now there's that.
Did I never find the two red coins? Hold on. Maybe I did get all three stars here. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Alright, you. I'm supposed to return here for the prize. Did I fail to do that? I failed to find both. I found one red coin and then I found a... Hmm. I see. One of the hidden stars was really super obvious. And I just bad at, you know, things. Okay, okay. This level is really straightforward with everything about itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. I figured that I had already gotten the red coin star. Good job, me. Alright. Well then. Oh, I got 35 stars. I can check out the door to the far right here. It contains shoes, and more importantly, a lotion. There is a trade-off between the Yoshi and the shoes, but I like Yoshi better because of the ranged attack. Alright. So, the next threshold is, um... 50 stars. But where was I meant to go next? Was it this way? No, no, no. It was down below. Warp to the western grasslands. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm out of time for today, so join me next time when I take on the western grasslands. See you then.